Fire activities increased in recent weeks across eastern Australia as La Nina eases its grip in the Pacific and wet days give way to summer-like sunshine. Sky News meteorologist Alison Osborne details the expected fire season to come. Weather patterns have noticeably shifted across Australia in recent days. It is already hotter and drier than usual as the grip of La Nina eases back. This was apparent this week with the hottest temperatures in over two years across Sydney and surrounding coastal areas in New South Wales and an escalation of grass and bushfire activity across the state. Over the past three years, La Nina conditions have contributed to record-breaking rainfall and flooding in eastern Australia. This has led to the growth of grass and bushland. This has meant we've seen fire fuel loads increase to 4.5 to 6 tonnes per hectare, around six times the normal average heading into autumn. But now, as we start to experience hotter and dry weather across the country, these green areas are slowly turning brown and yellow. This is known as curing. Now, this was Forbes in central west New South Wales last Last month. This curing increases the availability of dry burnable fuel in the landscape. In the past, grass fires typically haven't been as damaging as forest fires. However, they likely pose a much larger threat under the climate conditions we have today, especially when close to population areas. Climate change is increasing the frequency and intensity of fire weather in Australia, something La Nina has masked in eastern states since 2020. Warmer temperatures increase evaporation, which in turn dries out our vegetation. With the lower rainfall, and that is expected during the coming months, this reduces the surface moisture and can trigger flash droughts. Data from the Bureau of Meteorology shows the number of fire danger days rated high or above have increased significantly since 1950. And with hotter, drier and windier conditions, this means fire weather has become more extreme in recent decades. The catastrophic fire danger rating was introduced in 2009 after the Black Saturday fires to reflect this observed increase. This autumn, the outlook suggests a more active season in eastern inland Australia and also through pockets of the lower west of WA. If you live in these areas, it is crucial to remain bushfire ready, even though summer is over.